Hi everyone, it's Miss Jones and welcome to our art lesson. Our project for today is inspired by artist Giuseppe Arcimboldo. He was an Italian painter during the Renaissance known for creating imaginative portrait heads made entirely out of objects such as fruit, vegetables, flowers, fish, and books. He painted representations of these objects on the canvas arranged in such a way that the whole collection of objects formed a recognizable likeness of a portrait subject. So we're going to be taking inspiration from um, Archibald's work and creating our own portrait face out of objects. And uh, today I am picking to do fruits and vegetables as my objects. So feel free to follow along with me and create your own funky face out of different fruits and veggies. Um, or if you have a different idea, maybe you have a different idea of how to make a face out of different objects and how to arrange them. Um, you could always do something like that. If you looked at some of the examples of uh, Archibald's work, there was a lot of um, ones made out of books and some made out of flowers. So you can always do that too. Um, if you are having trouble thinking of different fruits and vegetables, I will post a picture of some kind of illustrations of different fruits and veggies on Seesaw. So you can go there to kind of give yourself some different ideas um, and different fruits and vegetables you can use. So what you're going to need for your portrait today is a blank piece of paper. You'll need a pencil and then something to color with. So markers, crayons, colored pencils, any of those things. Um, make sure you add color to this because especially with fruits and vegetables, there's such bright colors and so many different colors that it'll really make your face uh, pop out and look really cool. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm really excited for this project. Um, and we're gonna start with our um, head of our person, and then we'll kind of fill in the features with different fruit. So we'll at least get a base, and then we can kind of arrange our fruit within the face um, to kind of uh, create this cool, this cool imaginative portrait. So let's just start with a uh, kind of like a big head, like a round, kind of take up as much space as you can on your paper because we want our face to be the focus. So a big oval is kind of a good idea. And um, I don't know about you, but I find floating heads to be kind of creepy. Um, I think they're kind of scary. So let's add some, at least a neck and maybe some shoulders. So we'll add a neck down here so that our face will actually have, looks like it has a body attached to it. All right, so we have kind of our base. Now we're gonna start adding some of our fruits and veggies. So let's just pick one feature to start with. I'm gonna start with the eyes because the eyes usually draw the most attention within a portrait. They really give our portrait life. So I'm gonna start with eyes and think about uh, maybe something round, like a fruit or vegetable that's round that could be used for eyes. Um, maybe you want to use a kiwi or an orange slice, or maybe like an avocado that have like a pit that might look like a pupil, or you could use something like an onion or a tomato, um, anything that you uh, can think of, put it on down there for your eyes. So I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna do some like oranges. So I'm gonna draw my circles for my oranges and I'm gonna draw them nice and big because our portrait doesn't necessarily have to look super real because it's not, of course, gonna be a real person. Um, so I'm gonna draw some orange slices. And I'm gonna do them like orange slices, like an orange that's cut in half. And there's usually like a little circle in the middle. Kind of looks like beach balls, but there we go. Kind of looks, looks like some oranges there. 
or lemons, anything like that. Um, but those are my eyes. And let's see what else we need for our face. We definitely need a nose and then a mouth. So something maybe like long um, for a nose. Uh, I think of like carrots, like we like people usually do carrots for like uh, snowman noses, but I think I want to choose something different. Um, but like maybe a, uh, like a, a carrot's a good one, but maybe like a broccoli or some like corn cob or I, or maybe like an eggplant. I'm gonna do an eggplant because they're kind of like big and bulbous. And this one's got, they've got little like tops on them. Something like that, there we go. Kinda looks like a pepper, but maybe when I color it in, it'll look like an eggplant. And then uh, we wanna do, uh, I wanna do a mouth as well. And uh, I think I wanna do something curved if I wanna make my person smiling. I mean, you don't have to, you could do something else if you don't wanna make them look like they're smiling but you could do something like a banana or maybe like some peas so the peas look like teeth you could do like a watermelon with the seeds I think I like the pea pod thought um, where it's kind of like a and then maybe I'll do like some little curly vines and then there be peas in there like this. Oh, this is fun. I like this. <laughs> awesome. So far, so good. It kind of looks like a silly, weird snowman. Um, what else should we do? So we definitely should add some eyebrows. Um, I might change the shape of my face as I go on too, if I want to add more things onto it. Um, might make my head a little bit bigger on the sides. Um, I want to add eyebrows to give more expression. I also think about like uh, ears and maybe like cheeks. And I don't, if you looked at Archibald's work, he really fills in the entire face with uh, food and um, different uh, kinds of vegetables. So we can always do something like that where uh, where you cover kind of the entire face or head with vegetables, but we want to make sure that we can still see the face. So I think, excuse me. So I think for mine, I'm going to do maybe like, um, what do I want? I want to do something for ears. Maybe I'll do, um, maybe I'll do like, maybe I'll do like a corn cob for ears. They're kind of like big like this. Then he looks like he kind of has elf ears with the corn sticking out. But that's kind of funny. I kind of like that. And we'll do another one over here. And I'm kind of just doing a sketch. Oh, whoa, this one is way bigger. <laughs> Um, I'm kind of just doing a sketch because I like to um, kind of go over my work with pen at the end. So here, let's let's make my ears look a little even. That was a little crazy there. It got a little crazy. That's better. Better. Definitely better. All right. Um, eyebrows. I want to add some cheeks. Maybe I'll add some hair too. Um, and then maybe something to the neck. We, I want to make it a little bit more food, um, kind of like Archibald's where there's a lot more going on um, and a little bit more covering the piece. Um, but you can kind of add as much or as little as you want. Definitely make like the eyes, nose, mouth, um, cheeks, hair, ears. Do at least a at least those pieces, and then you can kind of leave it blank if you'd like, but I like, I'm gonna add more and more because I think the more, the better. Um, so let's see, eyebrows, what should I do for eyebrows? Maybe I can do um, like bananas or like chili peppers, <laughs> or I'm trying to think of more kinds of vegetables and 
foods um, that are kind of like curved like that. I think I'll do bananas and I'll do them like upside down bananas. Make them kind of curved like that. There we go. We've got our bananas there. We'll do some, we'll add some lines on our bananas. There we go. That makes it look more like a banana. Fantastic. What else can we add? Um, I want to add something on the cheeks. I think I might do like I want to do like red cheeks, so maybe I'll do like tomatoes. And maybe I'll do like a top view of the tomato. So there's like the top on the tomato like this. Or it kind of looks like a star fruit. Something like that. I like that. What else can we add? I need some... I definitely need to add something on the neck and make something for the neck. And maybe I can do, uh, add some other thing. I kind of want to do like a, I like like the mushroom shape. Maybe I'll do some like mushrooms for the neck. they're kind of cool shapes. They've got kind of some like fun colors. Kind of looks like a necklace. Or I can make it like, I can make the neck out of like a pineapple. I, I'm gonna keep going with the mushrooms. These are mushrooms that are cut. Maybe I'll do like, um, maybe I'll do some up, another one. There we go. What else can we do? I need to do some hair. Um, I was thinking hair would be good if it was like, I could do like lettuce. You could do like lettuce hair or like grapes. Um, something where there's like a lot of it, maybe something wavy. You could do, I, I like the thought grapes. You could do like uh, corn, maybe lay down, or like pineapple. You know how pineapple has like the tall, fluffy kind of top. You could do something like that. I think I'm gonna do lettuce. I like the, the thought of doing lettuce hair. And so I'm gonna do kind of just like a wavy, like a lot of it. Like it's kind of like layers, you know? So we'll do it like, and I'll just do it like kind of like all over the place wavy. And maybe when I color it green, that'll look like more, more like lettuce, but I kind of like that. That looks good. He's looking good so far. Um, anything else I can add? I'm trying to think of what else I can add to it. I kind of want to maybe put in something. I feel like the more fruit, the more fun. I'm really excited about this. Um, maybe I could put some, I didn't really put any grapes in here. I could add some grapes, but I think he's looking pretty good. Maybe we'll just call that good. Um, definitely it looks like a fruit face. Um, but I'm going to uh, pen mine and kind of get it ready for coloring. Um, again, you don't have to ever pen your pieces. I like to do it because I'm a really, I like to sketch a lot and uh, kind of get my ideas down and then I'll like, you know, put it all together. But um, let's call that good and I will uh, come back and we'll uh, start our coloring. Okay, I finished my fruit man, fruit guy. <laughs> I don't know what to call him. Um, my fruit face, let's call him that. Um, 
and I love it so far. I'm so excited to start coloring and um, kind of bring this guy even more to life. Um, so far, so good. So I'm gonna start coloring and you can hang around to the end or keep working on your piece. lettuce head, whatever you want to call them. Um, I love it. I had so much fun with this project. Um, getting to be kind of creative and, uh, I don't know, rearranging things to make other things. I thought it was super fun. I cannot wait to see your fruit face creations, um, your portraits, um, inspired by Giuseppe Archibaldo. I'm really excited to see them. And so um, thank you everyone. I hope you enjoyed this project as much as I did and um, I will see you again soon. Thanks, bye.